as a parent is your duty to an extent because you will drive yourself mad. <laughs> what's up how's it going it's your girl jammas <laughs> jams welcome back to the vlog you already know what time it is everything lifestyle everything motherhood everything motivation and yeah it's up and we stuck guys welcome back to another vlog welcome back to another weekly vlog um Last week, for the most part, I gave you guys a montage of what was going on. Your girl was in and out of the hospital. I had my daughter's graduation. I checked myself out of the hospital. Um, it's been really rough for me. So nonetheless, you know, we already know what's up. Sickle cell, not much we can really do about it. Everything triggers something. So, you know, when we're down, we're down. But when we're up, we're up. So today is actually Monday, June 19th. Yesterday was my son's birthday. Happy birthday, Alexander. You are officially 10 years old. Mommy loves you so much. You are my one and only son. Uh, you already know that I am just so blessed and overjoyed. Like my one and only son is 10 years old. Like where does the time go? Um, you'll be going to the fifth grade and you're going to be trying new things. So you already know that we are definitely going to celebrate this weekend. Um, we just had a lot going on this weekend. Also, it was Father's Day yesterday. My husband, my dad, my brothers, like, I just want to like, you know, salute you guys. You guys are phenomenal men. You are everything I need and wanted in my life definitely so my husband you're a phenomenal husband you're a phenomenal father provider protector and i mean god has multiplied my blessings in so many ways my father you know born and raised with my father i was truly truly blessed i am truly truly blessed to still have my father my father will be 85 this year and i mean I love my dad, like, you know, I love my dad. My military father, if you understand him, you get it. If you don't get it, he don't care, we don't care. And that's just it. <laughs> um, humble man, my brother, Coco, he is a father as well. And great father, you know, always try to be there for his kids. Always, always, always. Um, I have my older brother, Jimmy. He's also a dad. So we celebrated yesterday. You know, we just, you know, make sure we get put in the phone calls and say happy Father's Day. Showed our love, appreciation. So nonetheless, it is Monday and I have so much to do, guys. I have so much to do. I have so much to do. I bought this away this morning. I didn't get a drink because I don't want soda. I didn't get a drink. Um, actually, right now I'm on my way to go grab um to go and grab Lala's physical from the doctor's office. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go home, finish up her school paperwork, and go drop that off today. And then. I do have to spend some time cleaning my house. My house is a mess. My daughter's at um, Bridge Camp this morning. So she's at Summer Bridge. Basically, it's just an introduction to ninth grade, high school life, 
it's a three week seminar she doesn't want to go but she wants she has to go she doesn't have a choice <laughs> and it's only three weeks and they get a half a credit who doesn't want a half a credit in three weeks like you have to do a whole semester to get a half a credit uh, a whole year to get a half a credit so she's there so i'll be picking her up at one o'clock so i'll just take you guys with me the little bit that i do today i won't be doing much nonetheless i do appreciate you i do love you don't forget to like share and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend um my ultimate goal is to stop vlogging in the car <laughs> but i'm always on the go and if i'm not really doing something i just want to encourage you you know it's not easy it's not easy we do get knocked off our feet we do get off track just know that you have to be intentional about getting on track and that's just how i keep going you know i'm just intentional about getting on track if i'm off track it happens it is what it is buckle up and get back on track so i'm gonna highlight you guys in a little bit i'm gonna finish eating my food and then i'm gonna head to the doctor's office to pick up lala's paperwork and head back home because it is 9 10 and i hope to be home before about 10 30. yeah it's like a 25 minute drive there and a 25 minute drive back home so we don't want to be in traffic so that's why we're doing it this morning i'm gonna see you guys later it is so beautiful outside today it's not even funny it is so gorgeous so anyway we got her physical all set and done and i'm on my way home now so i just remembered i'm going to take baby lala to do her blood work so we're going to do that now I just booked an appointment for her for 1040, so I'm gonna get home, get her dressed, and head to do her blood work right now. See you when we pick up baby Lala. Oh, sit down on your chair. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Ooh. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> no candy, too early. Too early? Yes, yeah, too early. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, we grabbed baby Lala, we got her here, so we have five minutes, literally, to get over there, thank god I did a 1040, got a little crazy, say hi mommy, hi. say what's up guys, what's up, guys? say hey, it's baby Lala, baby Lala, <laughs> Lala's getting ready for school, boys. So, we'll see you guys maybe at the doctor's office or when we're on our way home. so we're gonna hit back to you later i'm gonna sit here and edit a video my mom's on the phone and i'm watching watch chrissy work so we're gonna tune in in a little bit okay son oh, oh okay i'll put the boy down Baby, 
Okay, please gas so I'll go one. Alright guys, what's up? What's up? What's up? It's another day! <laughs> and we're heading into the mall. Thank you, sir. Because the library is inside of the mall. There's music playing, so I'll be back. So like I was saying, there's music playing, but nonetheless, the library is inside of the mall. So we're gonna go see if the library is open because the kids are going to start their summer reading packets. So make sure y'all start early, parents. Make sure y'all start early. We know it's gonna be a busy summer. Everybody wanna be outside. But we gotta make sure these summer packets is completed early. Cause I'm not, I can't, I'm not dealing with it this year. So we got our schedule when I get home. I'm gonna show you guys the schedule that I printed out for my son. And yeah, we're gonna take it from there. Bye, and look what we see. We see some cows, bro. How do you say cows in a um, kitchen? Me beef, me beef, me beef. Wow, that's like. Oh, look, it's a horse. Yeah. No, that's a cow. Mm, it's a cow. Guys, so here we are. We at the library. This is like an actual library. We ended up coming to the town over and not um, going to the library in our town. Just in case you don't know, you can go to any library with your library card. The library cards are free. So make sure you grab one for yourself. If your child knows how to write the first letter of their name, they should be able to get a library card too. Take advantage. It's summertime. It's free library. Library. Ooh, this one's nice. So guys. We're here. In the library. Yeah, she should have to be quiet. It's a library. It says library is upstairs. See, there it is. Hey guys, so we're at the library. We got Alexander's first book. <coughs> and what lives in here? And the kids are doing a scavenger hunt. Huh? So they're on a scavenger hunt and I'm holding this stuff. Um, super cute. They're on a scavenger hunt and they're finding things in the library. And then they're gonna check out some activities and then we're gonna head out. But it's super fun, guys. I'm so happy I took them. Brought them to the library. And you can come to the library and take them out when you have little toddlers, winter, spring, like there's different toddlers and stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna check this one out because I I like this and I wanna do one for bedtime for Lala. So this is all about potty training. Did you check this one out? Toilet. Nothing, not yet. So this is what we're gonna take out for Lala.
nothing I can do. Can I go this way? No. Ah! We have to get my piece right there. <laughs> that when you put him that when you put that piece next to the king, where can I go? You took then? the queen. How am I supposed to move this one? Why do I have to do it? I didn't ask for anything. You said move this one. Where? Figure it out. You said this guy can only move in the L, right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Imagine if just what can you what can you do with that? I can only go all, straight. All this can move. All this there does that move. I can only move straight. Yeah, you sound kind of dumb. Huh? You sound a little bit dumb. You can't move that one. It's not going to help you. Much. He has to move the king. I have to. Oh! Oh, no. Okay. No. Out of these problems. guys here for today and i'm gonna pick up the vlog tomorrow yeah because we have a few things to do tomorrow the kids are gonna end the night off with playing chess and i'm still learning uh yeah so see you tomorrow if you reach this far in the video just subscribe because you lit just subscribe. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday, June 21st. Say hi, Aya. Hi. <laughs> so, guys, we are here. I told you guys I'll be registering her for school today. Well, completing the application process, I should say. Um, so hopefully it's a spot for her in September. She's impatient because she sees all the kids outside playing. Why did I bring her? I just don't know. But anyway, we're here. We're registering her for school. Um, and yeah. Mom. Let's go. I'll see y'all in a little Mom. bit. Though. Yes, you ready to go? Mm -hmm. You ready to go? The kids is outside playing. That's why she's excited. All right, guys, your girl is ready to go. Lala is going to school. She is officially accepted at this point. We're just waiting for a spot. 
it's summertime so a lot of the kids are transitioning some are leaving some are moving so there's a possibility your girl might start in july so i'm so happy for her i'm so excited for her this is gonna be a big deal for me yeah a big deal a big deal for me because Alexander has, Erica has to be at school 7.30, beginning of September. She started in the ninth grade. Let me put up the window so you guys can hear me. So, um, Lala will be starting officially probably next month, but definitely before the end of the summer. So, she's going to be starting school at 8 o'clock. She can come as early as 7.30. So, it can be 8, it will be 8 to 5, but I'm definitely not leaving her there until 5 o'clock. So, she'll get picked up around 3, 3.30 if I have to pick her up earlier than that, but she will never stay later than 3.30. Never, ever, 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 ever. Okay? Uh-uh. It's too long. Anyway, she's just starting at 2, so no so but definitely september she's gonna do the eight to four eight to eight to four but 3 30 is a cutoff for her because alexander i pick up from school at 3 20 they are a few minutes apart so it's not that far from alexander school is literally down a block from alexander school so probably like three blocks away from alexander school and erica will be starting school at 7 30 Alexander starts school at 9 o'clock, but he has to be at his door at 8.45. And Lala starts at 8. So my drop will be 7.30, Erica. 8 o'clock, Lala. 8.45, Alexander. So, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. God has truly blessed me. I'm so humble. I'm, like, excited because the kids need this. So, she's registered. She's ready to go. I'm gonna go home. I got a few things to do. Don't have much to do today because that was like my biggest thing. But I'm gonna take her to the playground today because I promised I will take her. It is a little nippy outside, but the sun is out. The sun is out, but it's a little nippy. So I'm gonna see you guys later. Say bye, Lala. Bye. I'll see you guys later. All right, bye. Guys, good morning. Ah, Haitian egg. So, this is the first time I'm eating my cousin's cooking. He actually cooked. He's made eggs. So let's see if it's good. <laughs> Boston. Mm. Listen. Get you a Haitian man, cause baby, when my husband make eggs, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's up, mommy? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You so fed, bro. You want to call me, man? to the aquarium today so it's not too sunny it looks like it's about to rain i pray it doesn't rain till we leave but we're gonna have a good time we're gonna enjoy the scenery remember my mom is here with us so it's like her first time actually seeing these things so we're excited i really want to go see the paintings. so let's get into it let's go Thank you. 
All right guys, so we're getting the stuff back in the car and we're gonna grab something to eat. So I'll close the vlog out after we have something to eat and on our way home. Nonetheless, we enjoyed ourselves. Everybody have fun. Just wanted to get out the house today and just chill. Okay, it's still early, so the day is still young. Let's go. Okay guys. <laughs> what's up what's up welcome back to the vlog it's another day i'm actually on my way to the supermarket with my mom i think this is her first time going to the supermarket with me yeah so we're gonna take you guys with us say hi mom hi <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to sea town so let's go we're gonna get a few things not a lot so we're taking out with us hey guys welcome back to the vlog um, what's today? Today is Wednesday. I want to say it's the 28th of June. And it's Wednesday, the 28th of June. Um, I'm up super early. I'm out super early. I just dropped my daughter off to <clears throat> um, her bridge program. And I attempted to get breakfast, but I have an appetite. I'm disgusted, more or less. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop at stop and shop real quick shop right i haven't been in a long time so i'm gonna go to shop right and i'm gonna get pick up some fruits i need to get some waffles for my kids we've been asking for waffles um before i go inside i'm definitely gonna make a list because i ain't got time i ain't got time okay but your girl woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning it is what it is 
so like annoyed by so many things happening in my life right now. Um, that's real life. It is what it is. I don't like how people are moving. I don't like a whole lot of shit right now. So, um, that's not going to stop me from being productive because I got a lot of things to do on the computer today. So, more or less, um, it was my birthday on the 25th. I stepped out. I'm going to give you guys a quick rewind. My birthday was on the 25th. I stepped out with my husband and my kids. We went to church. And then we went to Hibachi. Um, then we came home, took photos. Um, my family surprised me with a gift. birthday cards, shed some tears, and then Monday, I took my daughter to, to camp, to um, a bridge program. I don't like you calling it camp in summer school, it's like, <laughs> it's summertime and automatically you go to summer, summer camp, whatever. But nonetheless, I am, took my kids to the aquarium yesterday and I cannot wait to go back. I feel like going back today, to be honest with you. Um, but that's something that I'm really gonna get up and do. Um, there's a couple of kids' museums that I wanna take my daughter to. So I wanna have some time with Lala and Alexander. I'll take them to the kid museums. Like, that's gonna be my big focus this summer. Like, take my kids out to all these museums and let them go to these museums. And I wanna try, like, little hole in the walls as I pertain, I, as I consider them, like, you know, like little toddler spots, little wing spots. So, um, you know, for like a quick bite to eat. It's very expensive to go out, guys. So, it's very expensive to go out. So, if you're trying to go out, you need to, still need to pack your snacks. Like, yesterday I packed water, I had peanuts, I had Doritos. Um, I packed that stuff in the car because I'm not stopping to buy no, no nothing. Like, we're going to go to the aquarium and after the aquarium, we're going to grab something to eat. We ended up at Apple, Applebee's yesterday. I thought it was happy hour but happy hour apparently starts at 9 p.m which is like a bummer because they usually had a happy hour from three to six and then you know the 9 p.m the late night whatever shenanigans but i did that with my kids yesterday today i'm gonna be on the computer majority of the time so that's gonna be that's gonna take up a lot of my time actually um, I have to be back at my daughter's school for 10 o'clock because they have, today's the last day, so they're doing like a showcase for the parents on what's to come for high school, what to expect, things that need to get done, what they, you know, like a whole, a bunch of, you know, directions and direction, direction and policies and procedures and all that, guidelines. So I'm excited about that because I like to be ahead of the game or whatever. Um... And then I'm going to uh, come home. It's over at 11, so I'm gonna come home after that and hit the computer up. Like literally hit the computer. Yesterday I cleaned my house. Like I wiped down my sofa. You know, Lala's area. I reorganized it. Um, got rid of a lot of toys, stuff that was broken, shit, cracked. I wiped everything down. I de I sanitized everything. Um, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. And I still went to the aquarium yesterday. So, then, you know, we mopped, we swept. So, my house was like, tip top, not clean. I came home yesterday and I was back. So, um, that's what we did yesterday and that's what we're going to do today. And then I have so much messages that I have to reply to. People are calling me, writing me, family, friends. So I just want to take some time out today too to do that. So I'm definitely going to do a to-do list when I sit down. I'm going to do a grocery list so I can go in here real quick. I'm not getting a lot of things. I'm going to get a few things, literally maybe five or six things. Um, because, you know, I do bulk shopping in the beginning of the month. And that is literally next week. Fourth of July weekend, my parents, my mom, and my sister wants to grill or whatever. I'm not really into it. I really don't. I'm not. I'm not feeling the whole grilling thing or whatever because there's too much food being wasted, and I'm just 
over it at this point. It's way too much food being wasted. Like, there's always rice going in the garbage. There's always meat going in the garbage. There's always that going in the garbage. No. Like, it is too expensive to be wasting food. Like, point blank, period. Like, dropping food on the floor. Don't want this. Don't want that. You know, like, barbecues are expensive. Food in general is expensive, you know? And we want, we want choices. You know, we want to have the the ribs and we want to have the chicken and we want to have the shish kebab and we want the shrimp kebab there's only like five of us that really eat the kids they pick out the food they don't really eat especially when you see too much food you don't you, you feel i don't know guys anyway i'm ranting so i'm gonna go mute myself um let's go into the supermarket and then head to erica's school i'm gonna go home drop these things off and then i'm gonna head back to erica's school and we're gonna do that yeah by the way, I just wanted to put it out there, like, my husband, I mean, my God, like, God has truly blessed me with a phenomenal man, like, like, he feels my energy anywhere, like, I just, I just love him, I do love him, I really appreciate him, and I can't wait to retire my man. You heard what I said. I said I cannot wait to retire my man because he deserves it. He deserves it. He works so hard. He puts in so much time, energy, and he's so he's humbled. Like that's that's the that's the main thing. Like he's just humbled. Anyway, this is the first time I'm trying a, a iced coffee from Chick Fil A. Let's see if I like it. I will never be getting this again. But we can drink it. But I'll never get it again. I don't know. I'm not I'm trying I'm trying to get back into the groove of iced coffee, but the last couple of weeks I've been trying iced coffees. They nasty. First of all, I want my shit sweet. <laughs> okay. And I don't want it light. I want it dark. I was like, oh, do you not want creamer? I didn't say it. it's iced coffee. Like I didn't say I didn't want the milk and cream in it. I just don't want it to be light. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Because I don't want to be on the road going to look for a toilet to shit, shit up the place. <sighs> TMI. I know, but y'all yeah, already know coffee is an automatic lax laxative. So yeah, too early for the BS. But anyway, let's go inside now. So we're heading in to the shop. It's been a while since I've been here. So it's been a while. Since I have been here. Hey, my past can't me. My my heart is time change. I'm still playing the big thumb and you still playing the pick me. So, literally, I'm probably running a few minutes late because I have to be at Erica's school at 10. It's currently 10. 41. I'm seven minutes away from my house. And then, um, but yeah, like, guys. 
so I don't know if a lot of you shop like I do. Maybe you do if you're a strategic person. If you're a cancer, definitely shop like how I shop because I know your brain be like, wee, wee, wee. So I used to buy waffles and French toast sticks wholesale from BJ's, right? And that's like a big box. So I just bought a pack of 24 waffles for $6.99. And literally in BJ's, I can get like maybe 12, 12 to 16 packs of waffles. Don't quote me, but it's a lot of packs of waffles. It's probably like more than 10 or 12 packs of waffles in here for damn near $10, right? But my kids, they be acting like, they be going on this like, first of all, my kids is way too privileged. Like, I don't even know how, when I say something, they feel like I'm just trying to shame them or I'm trying to compare them when I say like, they're too privileged, they have too many choices. And it be like times like this when I be like, no, I'm not buying nothing else until what's in the fridge is done. Until it's done. You understand? Like, oh, I only eat Panera Bread bread bagels. So my daughter likes Panera Bread bagels. Those are her preferable choice. But them shit is expensive. And I like the store brand bagels. Okay? If it's not Panera Bread, I'll do the store brand. But I don't like Thomas bagels. I don't like certain brand bagels like I just don't like it. it has an aftertaste they have a smell whatever and I will buy the mini bagels for my nephew and my daughter because they tend to eat the mini bagels just like the croissants I'll buy croissant from Sam's Club the pack three four of them have to go in the garbage and there's times that I'll buy it's not even enough it's not even enough it's not even enough sometimes I'm like damn I should have got two 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 containers so I've been trying to switch it up, but what I'm, the more of what I'm trying to say is these kids are just way, just way too privileged for me. And that shit just pisses me off. It pisses, it rocks, it rides my soul. So like all of a sudden now my son's like, I want waffles, I want waffles, there's no waffles, there's no waffles. I'm like, bro, like I bought two little packs of waffles, two little boxes of waffles, maybe last week, right? Cause they were on sale at Stop and Shop. I said, oh, let me get two. They blink through them shits. When I say blink, blink, my kids blinked through them. And now everybody want waffles. So why, right? So watch when I go on my big shopping next month. I said, okay, let me just go grab some waffles. Shit, I forgot the pancake mix. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a box of waffles and watch. Them shit's gonna stay there till they get freezer burn. And that shit pisses me off because I'm like, you know what? It's just. Food is very costly. And the way these kids just be picking and choosing through what they wanna eat, through what they don't wanna eat, it just blows my mind. I don't even wanna be in the kitchen. I was telling my mom the other day that really and truly, going to do like shopping during the month is like I don't want to say it's not it's not a waste of time but it's technically a waste of time because the kids don't want to eat that if I make oxtail they'll eat it if I make fried fish they'll eat it and I mean snapper because that's the only fish that I really eat or I'll do wild caught salmon and that's rarely if I do barbecue chicken they'll eat it to be honest with you, I'm staying away from the fry, 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 fry. Like, I might brown, brown something as far as, like, give it color, like, as far as the meat. But as far as, like, that fried chicken with all the flour and all that, I'm not in it. I'm not into it. First of all, oil is extremely expensive. You're going to sit there and use one whole gallon of oil to fry some fried chicken. And guess what? It can't use again. It can't use like I'm not certain foods that I cook I'm not gonna use dirty oil to cook number one I use a lot of olive oil and avocado oil and I do have to get vegetable or canola oil sometimes because you do have to you know you fry certain stuff you know if I'm frying french fries for my kids I'm not gonna fry it in olive oil I'm not doing it like that shit tastes nasty like it tastes nasty but 
all that to say, no, it's like, I don't know if I'm over processing it or what, but I see why people say it's cheaper to eat out. It's cheaper to eat out, it's unhealthy, but it's cheaper to eat out. Because to make a meal, literally you need a buck 20. And I mean like, okay, barbecue chicken, you gonna buy the pack of chicken. Chicken is mad expensive. Yeah, you might get some legs for maybe six, seven dollars, but I'm not eating blue chicken. A lot of the chicken in the stores now, right now, they're freaking blue. I'm not eating that shit. I'm not even picking up off the shelf. I'm not, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm just not. So it's like, to get a nice fresh pack of chicken, if you wanna do wingettes, 20, 22 dollars minimum, 22 dollars. You might get 24, 26, okay? Like, I got three mouths to feed, plus myself, plus my man. Yeah, like, you know, my kids, my family, like, my mom and stuff like that. Like, you know, when she cook, I don't be wanting to cook. I be like, okay, but my kids don't want to eat that. My kids don't want to eat okra and chicken. They don't want to eat that. They don't want to eat legume. They don't want to eat sauce squat. It's just my reality. Like, they don't want to eat it. And I get it. Like, they don't want to eat that shit seven days a week. You know? Like, I'm grateful for my mom, but at the same time, no, they don't want to eat it. So it was like, if I go buy chips and a whole bunch of junk, 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 junk food, frozen food, yeah, they'll eat that a lot faster than they eat the rice and the chicken and all this stuff. You understand? As a parent, it's your duty to an extent, because you will drive yourself mad. You will drive yourself mad. But anyway, guys, I'm heading home real quick. That was my little rant about groceries and the rants and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just so... Ugh. Literally for the month without... I want to say without like toiletries or detergent and stuff like that. Just for food. Food items alone. I gotta be close to 2500 2200 by myself and that's going to the store every week to get this to get that to pick up this to pick up milk you can't buy milk in bulk all right you're gonna buy milk in bulk and then it's gonna be expired or the whole fridge is gonna be filled up with milk like that don't make no sense you know you gotta go out to buy milk you gotta go out to buy fresh vegetables like if you want to do veggies pepper sweet pepper hot bonnet pep hot bonnet pepper you know thyme you can't really buy those things in bulk you understand like yeah you can buy the the scotch bonnet peppers and freeze them which i usually do like i like to go to the farmer's market and at least I, you have to get there early if you want to see this get the scotch bonnet peppers and i'll buy a shitload of them things and i'll freeze them like for like nine pieces or eight pieces of scotch bonnet peppers like 2.99 2.50 2.79 some places four dollars like i'm not in an area where they have quality Caribbean food. So the most that I would get is Seatown. Seatown is like the best you're gonna get. ShopRite, as you can see, I just went in there. I see they have yam, I see they have the right plantain. I see that, like yesterday I went to Seatown, they didn't have no plantains, no plantains. There was like two little skimpy ones there. I ain't buying that, you understand? So moral of the story is, don't play with these kids this summer. Don't play with these kids. And don't go old. If you can't, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. Simple. You don't. There's no need to go overboard. No, nope, they ungrateful anyway. You heard it for me. Period. I'll see y'all later. Okay, guys. So ten nine fifty seven. Let's go to. Erica school to see what's up to see what's up I drop everything home the put everything in the fridge I had butter and milk in the car so we have to make sure we took care of that and now we're going to the school so I did buy a Celsius today I kind of want to just drink it now because it's nice and chill. 
but I need to find out if I have a straw. Because if I don't have a straw, we ain't drinking it. If you're a mom, you know what's up. I think it's time for me to change the Ziploc bag though because it's probably been in the car for a little over a year. I always have napkins, forks, spoons, straws, gloves, yeah. So, um, definitely will not be getting addicted to these. Yeah, so we're gonna head to Everest for school. You gotta make a wide turn at this corner right here. Oh yeah, literally that shit is taking off your wheel. Stop sign, you don't have a stop sign. She went anyway. They're crazy. I'ma see y'all later. See you later, alligator. Anyway, by the way, I do feel cute today. I feel well put together. If you see my eyebrows from my birthday, they were way too dark, but whatever. It was my birthday. I did my makeup on myself, as now. So, like, the pencil that I was using, it wasn't sharpened well, and I was in a rush. Yeah, we're not doing that again. We're not doing that again. No, we're not doing that again. All right, so I'll talk to y'all later. Hi right, guys, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. It's another day. It's another day. We are stepping out to get a, home, a few home necessities. I'm not sure if what vlog this will be in, but it's gonna be in a vlog. <laughs> How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? It is actually July 1st. Can you believe it? June is finished. It's July 1st. And we're gearing up for fourth of july and um yeah we chilling hey babe hey, man. so we're going out with hubby today we're going to drive him crazy yeah so let's go all right guys we're heading to sam's club i'm here with me the kids are here we're going shopping inside so guys i definitely forgot to pick up the camera today we went to sam's club we got what we needed a few dry items diapers wipes paper towel toilet tissue tomorrow i'm actually i don't know not tomorrow monday because we're getting ready for fourth of july i'm gonna um head to the caribbean market and get some stuff and then, also, yeah, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna text you, I'm gonna, I'll be back. So guys, hey, 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 welcome back to the vlog. As I was saying, I'm gonna be interrupted. Just in case a lot of people may be wondering like, what's going on with my chest? What's going on with my stomach, my area here? My husband's like, oh, you don't wanna put a little bit of makeup on that? Like, no, I don't. <laughs> This is my pain and struggle. This is my life. This is my this is my reality, okay? Every time I go to the hospital, I got to get all these EKG strips <laughs> or I have to get a port put in because they can't find veins or they try this side. Um, I'm mostly successful on this side, actually, with my ports. Um, I have not decided to keep one in permanently. They want to put in one permanently, and I'm like, nah, I'm good. Nope. So, no ports permanently for me. Um, however, if they don't put a port in right here or right here, whichever side they choose, they usually go on my neck. Um, it's not fun. It's not, I try to avoid it as much as I can. I tell them, try my foot, try my toe. 
try to see if you can get a vein because baby <laughs> lord i'll be scared especially when nobody's there with me like you know my mom or my sister or my husband if they're not there with me i'll be like i'll be freaking out so anyway i decided that i'm gonna turn on the grill tonight i'm just gonna turn on the grill real 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 quick i'm just gonna put chicken on the grill uh, um put some mac and cheese in the oven real quick some potatoes and vegetables that's it i'm not entertaining nobody's rice i'm not making rice and that's gonna be our meal okay i just went and spent 80 dollars um in stop and shop and i'm 110 percent sure that if i had to literally um if i had to take everybody out to get something to eat it's gonna be way more than that so whatever i'm just gonna sacrifice i just want to chill in my house i'm gonna make the kids do s'mores alexander have been asking to do s'mores i have some stuff in my trunk so i'm gonna let him do that and i'm gonna put the grill on and let them grill a little bit and yeah enjoy 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 nonetheless we are home about to turn on the grill so let's go all right guys i actually forgot to pick up the vlog we're here and we are at look at my car we're at um food bazaar getting a few things oh wow we're recording say hi Aya. Ma mette machine noire là et ma mette machine moi pour pour Johnny entrer dans mitan machine yo. Pour moi si la capable. Johnny gagne fort chéri. Chauffeur pas j'en fais, de vous chauffeur, chauffeur net, c'est montrer son café. Il faut confident. Anyway guys, so we literally did all the grocery shopping today. Um, I have a few more stops to make, but we're pretty much set for 4th of July. Tomorrow I'm gonna go get the cupcakes for the kids because they're driving me crazy for cupcakes. And my cousin's driving, his permit came in. You already know what's up if he got his permit. So anyway guys, today I went to Food Bazaar. I went to Food Bazaar and I spent $600. $600. I went to Sam's Club today and I spent like, was it $420? $420. Yeah, it was about $420. Do the math. So I think I'm gonna need like, maybe uh i want to say like maybe 160 180 because i want to stock up on the snacks for the kids like i got their cereal um and stuff like that but i really want to stack up stock up on the snacks for the kids because when we're going out i expect them to bring their it yeah 
So for snacks today, I got Little Bites, a box of Doritos, Welchers, Mott's. Mm, um, what else did I get for them? Yeah, so I want to go get back in, but get popcorn. They like the... Where's her shoes? Um, they like Yeah, I want to get popcorn. Another mixer mix up box of chips for them. One that has like 50. Um fruit roll-ups and maybe some Pringles I might do for them. And then of course the graham crackers. Kyrie's on graham crackers like crazy, so I'll give him graham crackers. And that should be it for them. Like they should be set. Um I got yelled at, so I'm not getting box juices. We're not doing any box juices for the summer. We're sticking to water and water bottles. So they had their water bottles. We went to five and below. Everybody got the water bottle that they like. And we're sticking to water bottle and lemonade for the summer. So it's not easy. Like I've been trying, I've been going to get like the Minimade, um, berry punch, fruit punch, those things or whatever. I've gotten a couple of those. And then I've gotten the apple juice because Lala gets constipated sometimes and cranberry juice those three things we're not getting V8 Splash we're not getting the Capri Suns and I honestly felt like that's why I didn't go over 420 because I probably would have been in like the 500s at Walmart at um at Sam's Club because when you start getting like the Snapple the V8 Splash the Gatorade and stuff like that that's another whole bag in itself. So we're doing that. And yeah, so we're pretty much, we're pretty much okay. Um, I said I was gonna get chicken nuggets, fish sticks, and um, hot pockets for them. And then the pizzas. The There's a brand pizza that I usually buy for them. It's DiGiorno. DiGiorno, correct. Say hi, Pop. You already know where this is for Alexander your boy Alexander. I'm not vlogging for the family channel. <laughs> How was your chicken? Guys, I bought a rosaterie chicken because my mom cooked and I know my son be like, I don't want that. I don't want this. So I bought him a $4 rosaterie chicken from Sam's Club. And let me tell you, that chicken was made with love. The mac and cheese is Cracker Barrel mac and cheese. That's a new mac and cheese. You like it? I thought it was, um... It's not. Mac and cheese? No, it's Cracker Barrel mac and cheese. So... Nonetheless, that's a little rundown. Um, tomorrow is Monday. Today is actually Sunday, July 2nd. Guys, it's July. It's already July. And I'm hoping to get some great news this week. I'm praying that we get great news this week. Um, nonetheless, um, tomorrow's Monday. So I'm going to go back to Sam's Club to get his cupcakes. The cupcakes for the kids. And I have to pick up the hot dogs, actually. Because Sam's Club don't have Sabrat hot dogs. And my kids like Sabrat hot dogs. And I usually get them treat. Even though it's salty, I boil them first. And then I put them on the grill for them. But we're pretty much set for 4th of July. The bread is already here. Everything's already here. And it's about to rain at 5 o'clock. So that's why you guys see the weather is getting a little cranky. Um, say hi, Yaya. Lala, say hi. Say hi, mommy. She's been hanging out with me all day. But I'm going to definitely touch base with you guys tomorrow. I just put in one load of laundry today. And I don't think I'm going to fold it today because I'm exhausted. Okay? I'm exhausted. But I'm going to see you guys mañana. Bye. So we're here to She's Oh, let's go to the front and return it. Come. Hi. So beautiful. What is it? 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 Oh, that's a real jellyfish. Oh, it's moving. Yeah. That's real. Yeah, see that? No, that's an actual jellyfish. Is it? Yeah, look, it's moving. Alex. Thank you.
Harder places like last time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So we got a few of our goodies. We got some puzzles, four puzzles. Um, you would have saw that in the clips before. Me and the kids were doing floor puzzles. So we're leaving the library now. Be careful. There's a car flying here. And we're on our way to the next stop, so let's go. Hey guys, hey guys, just checking in. We left the library, it's the library for a little bit with my kids today. It is Monday, July 3rd. And um, I got them some lunch. Now I'm going to um, grab the rest of our stuff from Sam's Club. For tomorrow, even though it's about to be raining all day, I'm pissed. Welcome back to 
to another day of the vlog. It is actually 4th of July, guys. It's 4th of July. And hold on, let me put up the windows. Let me put up the windows. Let me close the windows because. We all know when I'm ready to edit this video, I'm gonna be so mad like, oh my God, it was so noisy, it was so noisy. Anyway, once again, welcome back to the vlog. It is 4th of July, happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day to you, your loved ones, your family. Please, please, please be safe today. You know, drink wisely, drive safely. Um, even though you are not drinking, you still have to be a safe driver because we do have the ones that are drinking on the roads today. Um, we were supposed to get nothing but rain today and it looks like the sun Father God had other plans for today. So nonetheless, I'm on my way to Home Depot real quick to get some Tinky uh, water Because I don't feel like my I don't want the my to be out today. If you know what the my is, you know what the my is So we're gonna head to Home Depot. I'm here with my daughter and then we're gonna head back home. Um, yeah, that's it. Not more, not less, guys. It is July 4th. Literally. Wow. Time just like flies. So, you know, today's 4th of July, so a lot of things are not open. Just like, you know, make some stores that will be doing like a big 4th of July sale today, you know. And nonetheless, they won't be open all day. They'll be open for partial of the day and then they're gonna go and have their festivities with their families. You know, retail ain't never easy. I've worked retail before and it ain't for the week. Okay, okay. Um, even though I was on the management side of retail, that shit ain't easy. But let me look for some parking and I'll tap back in with you guys in a little bit. A little bit. So we're here and we're going into Home Depot. Say hi, mommy. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to sit home real quick. Mom. Real, real quick. Let go. Oh, that's not for kids. Thank God I got what I needed. I was in and out. Okay, I told y'all this weather crazy, but we're still gonna grill. We're gonna just grill on the balcony, whatever, whatever. And I'm gonna go set up the stuff. I think I want to just set up everything. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want that. So we'll see what happens. If the wind is blowing and stuff like that, we probably can just only cook it, cook outside, and then bring everything inside. Depending on how hard the wind is blowing. So guys, so we're home. And I just want to show you guys a few things that we picked up for the barbecue. Cupcakes we bought yesterday. And they are almost done. Which is good. Because they started eating it from yesterday. So we're going to just, let me just show you what we got going on here. We have some lettuce and stuff. Burgers, some fruits for the kids. We have the sauce, the secret sauce. Yeah, I already know that. 
made a few hot dogs. We got the corn going. Woo! We got the ribs on one side and the chicken on the other side. Johnny Tupac. 